How can you generate leads and sales for your business online on autopilot? What's the process? What are the structures? How do you put your business on complete autopilot online through marketing automation? My name is Ben Sung and today I want to be sharing with you the three core marketing automations you must have in your business. And that's generating my companies, my partners and private clients, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month on autopilot. At the end of this video, I'll be giving you the exact email and automation templates that you can implement into your business without spending a ton of time or money on your own trying to figure this out. At the end of this video, you're gonna be getting all these things, so make sure you watch until the end. Why marketing automation and having your own email list is so important is because when you're building your audience on platforms like Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, the reason why these social media platforms are so powerful and relevant today is because they have our target audience and your target audience on those platforms. They got the attention, they've got the focus, and a lot of the time is being spent on there. The day comes when some of these social media platforms are going to die out and your audience is gonna move on to the next platform, the next social media. So that's why having the marketing automation in place, your own email list, and also having your own website is so powerful. That's what you want to focus on building. The first core automation that we want to implement into your business is called the welcome automation. Now the marketing automation process that we want to use as well is Active Campaign. Active Campaign allows you to drag and drop. They have a beautiful user experience. They keep it easy and simple for you to use. You can go on there, you can set up an account. It's very inexpensive. It allows you to build your own email list. And most importantly, it allows you to control the communication that you have with your target audience. So you're not dictated by social media rules or any platforms liabilities and all these different things. You can say the most important things that you want with the communication. Now the first sequence that we want to set up is the welcome automation. So the welcome automation is the first important foundation that we want to have. Now what the welcome automation is, is it's a five part sequence. So five emails are going to happen and they're going to be sent to them when anybody joins on your email list and becomes a lead. Now the first email that we want to send them is going to be talking about what is the value that we're giving them. That's the first email. We want to thank them for joining our email list. We want to thank them for in entering into our world. And then also we want to tell them what they can expect. The second email we want to do is we want to tell them about your business. How was your business founded? The third one, we want to tell them about our community. We want to tell them about your customers. We want to tell them about what you represent and how your community empowers your business. That's the third email. We can use testimonials. We can use video testimonials, which is even more powerful. The fourth one that we want to do is we want to send them more value. We want to show them that we can solve their problems and then we can also help them achieve the results that they want. So whatever problems that they have, I want you to send the fourth email and type up and be able to just say you can address those problems and also help them with the results that they want. Now the fifth email is just going to be the bridging between your story, the business that you have, and then also how you can help them solve their problems and their results. Help them achieve those things and these five part sequences, the welcome sequence that you want to implement. These five parts will allow you to warm up the relationship build the trust and cultivate that relationship. That is the most important thing at the start, especially if they don't know much about your business. You want to warm up the relationship through this welcome automation. Now that we've got the welcome sequence in place, we want to make sure that when they go through this welcome sequence, there's one core result that I want them to think about when they hear about your business. I want them to know that you are the trusted resource and guide for them to solve their problems and achieve the results they want. That is the statement and the thought you want them to have. That's how you want them to feel about your business when they hear your company name. Now the next part that we want to do is called the value automation. The value automation is where we set up again a four to five email sequences and we add value to them. We want to do this through the videos, how to videos on giving them value on how to overcome again a problem or solve a result and help them achieve it through the videos, through guides, through the blog posts that you have or through content, through testimonials. And this, the whole goal of this is to show that you can actually help them. You wanna make their lives better. You wanna move them towards the result that they want for free. You wanna really help them and add value to them and give them the stuff that they want. That's the whole goal of this value automation is to really show them that you can give them value, whatever value means to them. So the five emails are gonna be, it could be one on a video, one on a guide, one on a post, or one on another specific, let's say a ultimate resource kit or all these different things that you can put and just add value to them. Just keep giving, keep giving, and then we'll get into the next sequence. How to make sure that your value automation is extremely powerful is you wanna make sure everything you're sending them is gonna make their life easier. It's gonna help them solve a problem or help them achieve a result. 
When you make it easy and simple for them to understand how they can do this, then you'll be able to bridge that relationship and build that trust and cultivate everything that you need to have. Here's the first email that I send when someone joins my marketing automation. You can see that on this email, that it leads with the three statements. It th thanks them for registering for the nine pillars, video implementation, video series. And then it tells them again, go on the thank you page. I actually recorded a video and you can see this email actually has a GIF, a very small size GIF that loads on their mobile, which is another tip that you can use. GIFs convert extremely well when you send them through an email, especially if it's a very short clip and you send it to them, it builds engagement, it gets higher click-through rates. And the next thing I tell them what they can expect, I want them to know that they're gonna receive the login, they can take step one, just subscribe to the YouTube channel that you're on right now. The second one is they can shoot me via FB Messenger questions or anything that they wanna get, and I can answer them back every uh, time of five or six days or seven days if I have the time and I get them to just do a simple call to action to go on to watch the video short message. So that's what you can do for your own business as well. You wanna keep it short and simple. Why the welcome automation and the value automation is so important is because someone just went on the marketing automation, they're usually cold audience, which means they don't know anything about your business, they don't have the trust, they don't know much about the product or services that you have, they don't know what you stand for. And so the reason why you wanna cultivate the relationship through this is because you wanna be able to build all those different things, the qualities of the relationship online through these automations specifically. That is why it's so important to do this, to warm them up so that they know, understand about your business and be able to cultivate this. This is how you build a successful business online in the long term. Don't just focus on the conversions and focus on the sales, but focusing on warming them up with the right marketing automation for your business. Now that we have the first two marketing automations set up, the next marketing automation that's super important and it's core to your business is the segmentation marketing automation. Now the segmentation part is gonna be key because you, just like any of your target audience, is a unique individual. So we wanna personalize the journey, the sequence, and the roadmap that they go through with your business. So what you wanna do is you're able to segment new people based on the interests that they have, the results that they want to achieve, or the challenges that they want to overcome. So for example, in the fitness space, there's people that want to focus on losing weight, there's people that want to focus on building more muscles, and there's people that want to focus on living a healthy and active lifestyle. Based on these three results and the challenges that they want to overcome, you personalize the sequence and the emails that you send them. Because if someone wants to build more muscle, you wouldn't send them something about a healthy, active lifestyle. You can really hone in on the content, you can really hone in on your messaging and how you communicate with someone based on that specific result they wanna achieve. So the first thing you wanna do in that email automation is we wanna focus on segmenting them by asking them a simple email question. So you can send an email out, say something like, hey John, hey Julie, thanks for joining the list. I wanna know more about you so I can add more value to you and help you solve your problems or help you solve the results that you want to achieve. So it can be something where you say, hey, uh, ask them a question, what are the top three results that you want to achieve? And you list them out. Or is it to lose weight? Is it to build more muscle? Or is it to live a healthy, active lifestyle? Based on that, they can actually click on it, one click or one tap on the mobile, and it'll segment them automatically in the marketing automation, and you can personalize the journey. The next automation that we want to focus on once you've got the personalized segmentation of understanding their interests or the results or the problems they want to overcome is we wanna understand how is their experience with your business. This is the best segmentation automation to implement because we wanna understand the experience that they're going through. Are they having a great experience? Are they having an all right experience? Or are they having a bad or poor experience? So you wanna send that email out, you wanna, again, simple click or tap with the, of the thumb on their mobile, and it'll automatically put them through a sequence where if they have a great experience, for example, can you say, that's great, I wanna help you more. You keep adding value, sending more, assets, sending more videos, how-to documents, guides, resources, so they can even get more value. And you warm it up even more, that relationship between you and them. Because you wanna follow up with them, you wanna add more value, and you wanna make sure that they don't just buy from you once, but they buy from you over and over again every month, every year, and they refer a lot more people to you. Word of mouth marketing, as you know, is extremely powerful, so you wanna make sure that you fully tap into that for your business through marketing automation. Here's an example of a segmentation automation that I send to people that join the marketing automation for me. I have the DMU, the Digital Marketing University on bensasan.com where you can learn everything you need to know about growing and starting a business online successfully. So the first email you're gonna see is right here. So you can see in this email, I talk about, you know, where are you on your journey as a subject line? Then I go into talking about, you know, before I send you the implementation videos, 
I've got one important question I want to ask you about your business. All it takes is one click and tap the answer. This way I can personalize your experience and our communication going forward in the training. So I talked to them about, you know, what is the current stage of your business? Initial traction, are you a startup? Are you a growth stage? Are you at scale stage? This is so I can personalize and streamline our communication so I can send you the most relevant and strategies, tactics, and campaigns for where you are today for your business to grow. And do a PS, just select one of the stages that best represents where you're at. So this is an example of a personalization email that I send because I'm in the B2B space, I'm helping you grow your business online. The way I'm segmenting is based on the stage of the business, what you need to grow as a startup and what you need to grow as a business that's doing $10 million is very, very different. Now at this stage, we've warmed up the contacts, we've cultivated the relationship, the trust, and we've added value to them through the welcome automation, through the value automation, and through the segmentation automation as well. We personalize their journey, we've shared with them that we can help them achieve the results that they want, solve their problems. We've also told them more about your business, so they understand what you represent, what's your story, and also how you can help them. That's the most important thing. So the next automation that we want to set up is the conversion marketing automation. Now the conversion marketing automation is going to be a five to six step email where we'll start going to introduce to them about your product or your service. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show them what products or services you have and how you can solve their problem and how you can help them with results that we want to achieve for them. So we share that in the first email, it can be something like this. Hey John, hey Julie, I saw that you were looking through, you've been on the list for about a few months now. I want to understand how I can help you. I want you to know that we have this product we have the service that you should check out. I think it's gonna really help you with this result that you want or this problem that you wanna overcome. And I want you to just introduce you to. Next few emails that you're gonna send is gonna be sharing with them your existing customers, your successful customer testimonials. They can be video. I highly recommend video. It communicates it much better. And then you use, let's say, written testimonials to back it up. After that, then what we wanna do is we wanna make them a special incentivized offer if they have not bought in the first four emails based on these testimonials and the introductory one. So once we go through that, then you make a special incentive. For example, you give them 25% or 50%, whatever special you want to offer on your product or your service. And if they don't buy for that, you want to position your highest product right there. Then after that, if they don't take that, you want to move the next tier down. You want to show them a product or a service that's the next descending product, let's say. So if you have a product that you're positioning in this conversion sequence, $100, then you want to move your product that's $50 under this and they still do not buy. The goal of this is to get them to make that first commitment with you by leading with your best product or service. Once they make that financial commitment with you and they want to through the, all the automations that we've set up and you've done this properly, you'll be able to convert a percentage of the people that go through this and generate sales through your business all on autopilot through marketing automation. Now, a key distinction I want you to know about is that if you are in the service business, this four part emails are gonna work for you as well. The difference is you don't have a physical product. So what you wanna do is you wanna have a service attached to it. And another thing too, if you're selling a product or a service that's under $100, this conversion automation will work extremely well for you. Now, if you're selling a product or a service from my experience that's over $100, you wanna do two things. One of two things actually. One of the things you can do is have them go onto the application to book a call to speak with you. Especially if it's a product that's over $100, they need to be able to have more confidence in themselves, they need more certainty, clarity, and direction. Your target audience wants to speak to someone on the phone if they make a big financial commitment that's over $100. Now the second thing that you can do is if you are selling a product or service that's over $100, you wanna use a webinar. Webinars are very powerful ways to build even more trust and relationship right within the marketing automation process. So at this stage, we're doing conversion, you can invite them to a webinar or you invite them to an application form. And through the webinar, you can build that relationship and you can even sell a 2000 plus product or service through the marketing automation and the webinar combined. Now that's what's powerful about these two things and I want you to know, based on your product or service price, you wanna use a simple email sequence. If you wanna do a more expensive product or service that's over $100, you wanna make sure that there's something that is attached to this, whether that's a call with them or a webinar with them at the end of the conversion process. So I'm gonna lay this out more in detail for you. I don't want you to be overwhelmed on the end of this video. Now, two core parts to make your marketing automation extremely powerful, and you can tell the core piece that really makes it a big difference is the emails themselves. That's why the subject lines 
and the content in the emails are so powerful and extremely important to get right. Now, I don't want you to be overwhelmed because at the end, as I promised at the beginning, you're gonna get the exact email templates and automation templates to plug and play for your business. But the first thing I wanna talk about is how do you write the right subject lines? Because right now in your inbox and in your target audience's inbox and the people you're trying to reach, you get endless amounts of emails every single day, every week and every month, and you don't open all their emails. You have spam boxes, you have promotional tabs, so you don't get all the emails that you get. So how do you write emails that are high open rate and also high click through rate? Those are the two core factors. They open and then they click through and we get them to take the action that we want them to take in the email and make them read the emails. So the first thing to do with the subject line to get a high open rate is we want to build curiosity in the subject lines. We want to make them open the email. That's what's important. That's what you want to focus on and you want to make sure that you build curiosity in the email. For example, in the emails you can use, uh, unfinishing line. So for example, you can say, did you know that this is going to happen? Question mark, dot, dot, dot. Or you can use shocking statement subject lines like this. You won't believe what just happened. Question mark, dot, dot, dot. You wanna make sure that you build curiosity in subject lines so you make them open the email itself. That is the whole goal of the subject line is that it builds curiosity and it's related to what you're about to tell them. Or it builds curiosity on what you're about to tell them. That's how you get them to open. That's the whole purpose of the subject line is to get your target audience to open that email. Next core part is to make sure that the subject and all the content that's in the emails themselves is relevant and it builds curiosity. So what we wanna to do too is we wanna make sure that the emails are short and sweet. Maximum two to three sentences per a line before you go into the line break. And you wanna make sure that it also builds curiosity. You give them some little bit of description of what you're about to tell them, but you also wanna make sure that you build curiosity so that they click on an image and they go into the next part. So how you wanna do this is you wanna structure it with hey, personalized line, then you wanna have a brief three to four mini paragraphs about what it is that you're gonna be building curiosity and giving to them. You wanna have an image in the center, usually a GIF converts really well, and then what you can do is you end with two to three paragraphs, again, mini ones, two to three lines max, and you end with your name or the, your company name, and then you go with the PS. Again, they can click here and go into the page. The whole goal of this email is to get them to take the action to go onto your website and or watch a video, whatever action you want them to take. That's the whole goal of the content in the email. So that's what you want you to do. And also at the same time, keep in mind, the first sentence that you lead with, you wanna make sure that it's a statement or something that catches their attention, hooks them in, and moves them to make sure they read the next line, the next sentence. That's the goal of proper copy. You wanna make sure that it glows and they keep reading through your email. You don't want them to get stuck on one line or they read the first few lines and it's boring. You wanna hook them in. Once you hook them in, take them to the next step. Another tip here is that when they see the first line of the email, you wanna make sure that it's also very curiosity-based and it's a shocking statement. Why? Because you wanna connect it with the subject line. If you notice in Gmail or any of the mail servers or services that you use, it shows a subject line and it shows a little bit of the first sentence of your email. So you wanna make sure the subject line connects with the first line of the email so that they click and open and they wanna read. That's how you generate more high open rates and high click-through rates with your email. Now let's take a look at an example. So here's an example of the marketing automation email that you receive when you opt into the Digital Marketing University on the website. So you can see that here we leave with the image and then we go into four specific lines that we build more curiosity. They go, hey, here are how my companies and private clients feel confident when spending millions of dollars every month through the entire marketing system. You can see I emphasize certain words and certain lines that catches their attention in the first line. Afterwards, I go into saying how it personalizes their communication. I talk about how we're gonna dive deep into this. I'm gonna show them the exact templates, show them everything they need to know. And then you can see there's a GIF here that's sped through on slides because this is based on a presentation that I gave to a few hundred business owners and I use this as the GIF that's scrolling through the slides really fast. The reason why I do this too is it builds curiosity. They can't read and they don't give them the time to read so that they click through to actually watch the video. The next thing too, you can see that the next few lines up below the image of the GIF is just some summary lines. And I say here, this is what's gonna happen. I tell them the next week when they receive this email, they're gonna get this on communication ads. And then I have a green call to action button below. You can do this as well. And then I just say my signature and then also has a PS. So you can keep your emails like this. This is the format, it keeps it very simple. It generates high open rates and high click-through rates. I think this one itself was doing 50% open rates uh, with a few hundred people that are going through the emails. Now, three secrets that I wanna give you to really over-deliver and take your marketing automation to the next level 
is we're gonna start with the first secret. I want you to reverse engineer the top five to 10 websites that you bought products or services from. And I want you to look at what emails did they send you? What were the communications that they gave you? What assets did they send you? What videos did they make you watch? What did they use in the subject line? What did they use in the email content itself? How did they get you to click through, go on the website, watch the videos, read the content articles, or take any action through the emails? How many emails did they even send you in the first place? How did they go through and what did they send you? And why did they do it? When you do this, you're gonna get so many key insights on people that made you take out money from your wallet or take out your credit card and spend it online. Now that's extremely powerful. And you can use the stuff that you learn, the insights, and the words that they use in your own sequence themselves. Now the next point, what you can do, is I want you to take a look at your competitors. Go onto your competitors' websites, you can Google them, find the websites, go on the list, and opt into their marketing automation platform. Find out what emails are they sending you, how are they sending it, how are they doing it with their products or services, and what they send, what's their sequence, what is the process they're using to get you to buy. This is gonna give you a lot more critical insights that you can use for your own business as well. Now the third final one, I want you to go on DMU, Digital Marketing University on bensonson.com, and I want you to opt into the list. I practice what I preach and what I'm teaching you as well. So you can go on there, you can see that you opt into copywriting, you opt into if you want more traffic, you want more leads, or you want more sales. Any of those things are already personalized on the page. So when they opt in on the list, you can see that I'm gonna tell you a first expectation email, you're gonna receive this every single two to three days on just generating traffic for your business. I segment, I use all the automations that we talked about before, the welcome, the value, the segmentation, and then you can see how I'm doing it through the B2B space. If you're in B2B industry, you can see how I'm doing it. You can take it, you can swipe it, and you can copy it, use some of the elements in there. You can even model what I'm doing successfully today. So those are the three tips on how to amplify your marketing automation for your own business. Finally, now that you know how to implement effective marketing automation into your business so you can generate more leads and sales and conversions online, don't be overwhelmed because as promised, I'm giving you the exact email templates and marketing automation templates that you can just plug and play into your business and you don't have to be figuring this all out and spending a ton of time or money trying to do this on your own or with your own team. Just take it and plug it in. Now also at the same time, you can see an expanded post of everything you need to know and what I just taught you through this video on Digital Marketing University on bensonson.com. You can see the expanded post, literally a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to implement this in your business. Regardless of what product or service you're selling, the industry that you're in, the target audience you're going for, or the stage of your business. Marketing automation is for you, and you wanna implement this to really take your growth to the next level. Three things I want you to do too, I want you to comment below right now and let me know what is the first marketing automation from this video that you watched that you're gonna to implement to your business, and then let me know if there's any questions and I'll answer for you in the comments below. The second thing, I want you to like this video. Let me know you're liking this content, this video, so that we can keep making these for you to help you grow your business online. I don't make any money from this. This is, again, for me to add value to you and really give back to the community from where I'm at right now. The third thing is, I wanna make sure that you subscribe to the channel because every single week, you're gonna be getting these videos for free on how to grow your business with digital marketing and all the 12 things that really matter for you to generate more traffic, leads, and be able to convert them into sales and long-term customers for your business online. So thanks for watching this video and make sure that I'll see you in the next one.